Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninjas. Today we're continuing our misconception series about should you reuse that fiberglass insulation? There's a lot of contractors out there that will reuse subfloor insulation. Is that a good idea? Stay tuned. Many times when we're talking to homeowners about properly insulating the crawl space, most homes built today are built with subfloor insulation. That could either be rock wool or fiberglass, and then you got some companies that are spray foaming the subfloor and different things like that. Normally, by the time we go in to address a crawl space, it's got mold and high humidity and even some standing water. So by that time, the insulation is already soaking wet and dripping and even what we call stalactiting, where you can see the fiberglass is starting to pull away from the insulation and looks like little stalactites that are hanging down from the subfloor. So you should never reuse that insulation. If it's moist, it's already been compromised. The R value has already started to deteriorate. Anytime fiberglass gets wet, it affects the R value. So what we do in that situation, especially if you're gonna encapsulate the crawl space, seal the crawl space, install dehumidification and that sort of thing, just take that insulation out because normally you have to get it out in order to uh, dry out the subfloor and possibly address mold. So take the insulation out, bag it and throw it away and then install a foam board or an insole barrier insulation on the walls instead of putting subfloor insulation back. Now, if you have an open crawl space and you have that same scenario, you can't insulate the walls. You need to put subfloor insulation back because of code. So if your crawl space is vented, you have to have subfloor insulation. If your crawl space is sealed, you can do wall insulation instead of subfloor insulation, but never reuse fiberglass or rock wool. You can reuse foam board because foam board is actually designed to be wet and be installed below grade. So that's okay. If you have to take the foam board off the wall, you can reuse it. Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.